Hi, my name is Wyatt Reed, and I'm from the Birdwell Chapel Church of Christ. I'll be giving the lesson this week on faith. A few songs that reference faith are the classic children's song, Wise Man Built His House Upon the Rock, and also a common song we sing at church here, My Hope is Built on Nothing Less. I don't know that much about building houses, but what I do know is you need a strong foundation. Building a foundation for a house is much like building a foundation for your faith. If you don't have a strong foundation, your faith will crumble. A good foundation to build on is Christ. Christ is always there for you, and he will stand solid in any case that you need. I want to read the first verse of my hope is built on nothing less, and then I will get deeper into my lesson. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. This verse talks about how the hope that this person has, that we as Christians should have, should be built on Jesus' sacrifice and his love for us. Jesus is that rock that we have to build on top of so that we have a stronger faith in him. One verse that this goes with and is Matthew 7, verses 24 and 25. Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken to him a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house. And it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. The rains and the floods that descend are troubles in our life that come at us. And we just, whenever those troubles come, we have to trust in Jesus that he can help us through it. And in our faith, through him, we can overcome anything. Next, I want to talk about the refrain from the song. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand, all other ground is sinking sand. Again, it mentions the solid rock that is Christ, the foundation, and then it also mentions sinking sand. All other ground is anything that's not Christ that you can build upon, which is not as strong, which is why it is sinking sand. Just like in the song, and the foolish man built his house upon the sand, and the foolish man's house went splat. It doesn't stand up because it's not a strong foundation. You have to have a strong foundation in the church. And continuing on to Matthew 7, but everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house in the sand. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it fell, and it was a great fall. In this verse, Christ makes it clear that our faith has to be deeper than just words. Christ is laid for a foundation, and everything besides Christ is sand. We have to base our entire life on Christ alone. It is necessary to our happiness that we believe in Christ and that we repent of sin, that we live a holy life and that we love one another. For many, their faith is just them sitting in church, passively listening and filling their heads with empty notions. In this parable, these people are represented by the builder who builds his house on the sand. These people are people who claim to follow the teachings of Christ, but only appear to do so on the outside. Once anything truly tests their face, it crumples just like the house built on the sand. So, even if you do attend church, you have to look inside yourself and make sure that your foundation is built on Christ. Otherwise, you're just kidding yourself. Other people who build their faith on Christ are the people we see setting an example for others and being a shining light in the lives of others. These people are represented by the builder who built his house on the rock. And these people are the people whose faith never fails during this trying time. I want you to look at yourself and ask what your faith is built on. Is your faith built on sand, or is your faith built on Jesus Christ the rock? If you'd like to study more, please contact us. We'd love to hear from you.